Hey everyone and welcome back to Game, game Dev, Dev Journey. Journey and another one of my videos looking at where you can learn how to use the Godot engine. Now that Godot 4 is in beta or beta as I've been told to say it, the hype generated has made more people curious and they want to experiment with it, test it out and, and see if it's something that could work for them. So let's have a look at some interesting Godot videos that I found this week. We all have a dream of making a game and Dream Right Go is no different. He really wants to make a video game. In this video he actually speaks about his experience of actively looking for a game engine and a place to start. I think that this discussion is important because there are a lot of newcomers to game development and they don't know where to begin. We mustn't assume that Godot is for devs who are switching engines. We as a community should actively encourage new game developers to use Godot and create resources for them. Go and listen to Dream Right Go, see what he has to say and how he came to choose Godot because he makes an excellent point. For those wishing to use Mixamo libraries in Godot 4, Kat Prisbury has a video out detailing the process. He shows you exactly how to import and use the large Mixamo animation libraries which he has prepared in Godot 4. He does warn us that this may be a violation of Adobe's terms of service because he's pulling the libraries directly from GitHub and so he's got another video out showing how to make the libraries yourself. And he wants to start a Godot community of open skeleton and open library of animations. So this is a call for you to join in. Edward Murat has a new tutorial out explaining how to use the Mesh Builder plugin for Godot 4. Now this is something that can save you a lot of time if you're making meshes for a 3D project in Godot because it includes a community tab where you can find shapes and objects which have already been built and shared by the community and you're free to edit and change them to fit your own particular project. You can also share the things which you make back and this way everyone benefits. It looks like a brilliant tool to add to your workflow and if you want to learn more watch the full video on Edward's channel. Origamol is busy with a series aimed at beginners which Godot actually really needs a lot more of. The tutorial set is for a 2.5D platform game. In this fifth episode they make a 3D background without using any outside or third party assets. The goal of the series is of course to teach and help newcomers to Godot, but it could also be a stepping stone to making your first game. I really think that we should support creators like this, so if you want an idea of how these tutorials work, please go and view the full video on Oregamol's channel. Polygarden has a new video out demonstrating how to fake transparency using a cube map or reflection probe. It's just a quick test which does produce some fake transparency similar to the bottle shader in the source engine. This has the advantage of not creating any sorting issues because the object is actually opaque. Maybe it's more of a translucency but either way the effect is incredible and if it's something that you would like to implement in your own game, then go to Polygarden's channel and watch the full video. Finally, Barbarian Impact has created a digital twin of a science lab in Godot. To me, it demonstrates the 3D capabilities of Godot and the graphical clarity is really high. Now you could imagine this scene working well in VR as a place in which you could explore um, and, and play with things, interact with them and so on. Please visit Barbarian's channel to watch the full video. Well that's all for this week. Thanks for joining me and I hope to see you all again next time.